Hello guys, uh, I have a little bit of time so I want to show you uh, my method of uh, taking a, uh, a fan clutch off. Uh, this is a 2010 Ford Explorer with 4.0 liter engine. I already replaced the water pump and the radiator on it, and um, but I have a little bit of time just to show you. Uh, I put the uh, fan back on, but I'll show you what I, what I used to uh, remove it. Uh, on this uh, truck you have to um, unbolt this uh, electrical harness, that's for the uh, uh, clutch, so uh, I just kind of dropped it down, so uh, uh, the two wrenches, you can you can uh, rent it out of zone, this is with a kit, the, the two wrenches, one will hold your, your pulley and one you uh, uh, put it on your on your clutch and you, and you uh, to loosen it up. Uh, it's just the right thread and uh, basically, um, you know, you just slide it down between uh, between these two, between the bolts that holds the um, uh, pulley, and uh, then you slide your uh, your wrench and you get it loose. But uh, it's kind of really, to me, I find it very difficult to keep everything together. So uh, especially one that holds the pulley. Uh, so uh, and this is the uh, this is the kit. You can uh, rent it at AutoZone uh, 27.018. So uh, what I use is this um, uh, uh, old pipe wrench, and um, uh, I find it on eBay. I don't I don't see them all the time, but uh, uh, occasionally they are gonna be on eBay. And um, the name of it is a time saver. It's made by Time Saver Tool, and um, uh, originally it comes uh, the, um, the the chain is very short. Uh, so what I did actually I extended this chain. Uh, by using the uh, this uh, I use a chain from uh, from these uh, pliers. I got them at AutoZone for like twenty bucks. So I extended this chain. Uh, this is the second, the other one I have, but I um, I got the same one and just. Uh, you know, Extend this chain so I can uh, I can wrap it around my pulley, and I can use this also on the on the crankshafts as well. So the um, way I using this, I remove the belt, and um, uh, then I put piece of uh, a piece of belt around my pulley, and I tape it with uh, with a um, um, uh, electrical tape. So uh, I'll get you a little closer. So right now I'm just gonna take this wrench, and what I did also I actually grind it down a little bit. It was too fat, um, so um, so now I'm gonna slide the wrench down around my pulley. Tight. Now, this is going to hold my my pulley in place, and uh, this is what it looks like. So, I just wrapped it around. You can see I got a piece of tape, a uh, piece of um, 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 old belt, and I taped it with my electrical tape so that I don't damage my my pulley. And then it's kind of I kind of wedged it between two. Two pulleys here, and uh, now, uh, and this is actually what it looks like originally. And uh, I just kind of grind it all up, so it was just too big, it was too fat. I didn't need it uh, to be that, so I kind of narrowed it down a little bit. Let's see right there, and uh, so. Uh,
So next what I use, I use a piece of uh, axle, CV axle that I replaced. Uh, so it's a uh, pretty heavy axle. I think this is from uh, uh, Nissan Altima. And uh, so, uh, so originally you would have to uh, put this uh, in between like this, but you have to hold it with one hand and it's just kind of a kind of pain to do it. And uh, so now I'm going to use you know, this wrench and uh, I got my the wrench and uh, just kind of hold it like that and I'm going to hit it with my with this guy. And there you go. And it's loose. And uh, now I can, you know, I can remove it, and um, I can I can tighten it down as well. So I'm gonna do it right now since I'm already done. I just want to show you guys what I'm what I'm using. This is a very nice uh, nice little tool that helps a lot. Like, so I just shaved it down on both ends so it's a little it's a narrow so I can you know put it where I need to and uh, somewhere and I'm not sure the original chain this is right here you can see it this is where I uh, actually extended the chain it was originally this was this long uh, like that but it was kind of too short so I um, extended with uh, another piece so now it's long enough to go around the pulley I can actually you know as I said I can I can use it on the on the crankshaft as well and this just kind of locks it like that and you tighten it down it's it's nice and secure okay all right guys uh, again I have found this they, they are on eBay that I don't I don't see them all the time on eBay but you know occasionally I have seen them on eBay and uh, but they're not uncommon. You can find them, you know, if you kind of keep looking. Just type in a time saver tool, chain wrench, and uh, you should be able to find them you know, occasionally again. So um, uh, this really, you know, helps, you know, hold everything in a place and you just hit it with your, uh, with your wrench and uh, it comes off. All right, guys, uh, that's it. Thank you so much, so much for watching and see you next time. Thank you. Bye.